Hey, Joe here, and welcome to session one of the five minute guide to Archie. In this session, we'll introduce the Archie user interface. If you first load Archie, your screen should look something like this, which is organized into windows. The windows can be closed and moved around. So let's close the ones we won't need for this lesson and we'll rearrange the others. We'll close the outline window and the validator window, both of which are more useful for large models and we won't have much value on the model we're about to build. So we're left with the properties, the visualizer, navigator, hints, palette, model and the view. We'll rearrange our windows so we can see everything that's going on at once. The navigator to the top right, the visualizer down to the bottom right. The model tree explorer lists all the available objects that we create within our model, which is so far none, but Archie has provided a default view object. The view object is where we create the diagrams based on the objects we create within our model. We can have multiple views open at any one time. The palette window shows the object types that we can use to create our own objects, which can then be created by dragging to a view. Archimate has three primary layers, also known as concepts, in building a model. They are the business, colour coded in yellow, application, colour coded in blue, and technology, colour coded in green. Using an example, I'll build a simple model to reflect an IT service desk using a desktop incident management system. We'll use a business actor from the business layer as the IT service desk, the application component from the application layer as an incident log system, and the device from the technology area as a desktop device. These three objects we've created in the diagram in Archie are referred to as elements. We'll tidy this up a bit and align our elements to the left. Shift and click to select each element with the desktop object selected last. In Archie, the last object selected will be the target setting. We click left alignment button and all the elements will be aligned to the desktop element. Next we want to build relationships to the elements. Relationships in Archie can be quite daunting at first as there are rules and restrictions on what relationships are valid between which elements. A good way to get used to these rules is to use the magic connector. Select the magic connector from the palette Click once on the incident log element and then click once on the IT service desk element. The menu now provides us with valid relationships between these two elements. We'll select serves. Let's do the same for the desktop element. The menu has now provided us with an additional relationship rule which is realizes. For our example we'll select serves. The windows in the Archie user interface provide different features to our modelling. The model tree has added the elements and relationships to our model that we have just created in our view. The property window shows us the name that we have given for each of those elements. The navigational window shows all the relationships between objects from the selected object in the view. The relationships can be viewed upward or downward, and objects from the navigational window can be dragged to a view. The visualizer shows relationships, again selected to the object within the view. And quite often we need to click on the reset button that will auto arrange objects in the window. Double clicking on any of the elements in the visualizer will enable a drill down to another element and subsequent relationships. And finally, we have the hints window, which provides helpful description 
on anything we click on within the application. So thank you. In this lesson, we've learned how to navigate and use the Archi user interface, the purpose of the windows, some key concepts of business application and technology layers, and a brief introduction to relationships.